Hello and welcome again to Shellac Finishes. In this video segment, I will demonstrate finishing with Royal Lac Original. I already have an entryway table that was previously sealed in my last video, namely sealing with seal lac. Application of Royal Lac is a bit different than seal lac. Royal Lac application can be divided into three segments, bodying, intermediate sanding, and final finishing. Let's talk about bodying first. In this step, Royal Lac is built up as a finish on the surface of the wood. I'll be applying two or three coats of Royal Lac Original. Let me show you how it is done. I have a well-sealed tabletop from my previous video, Sealing with Seal Lac. In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply Royal Lac Original on this tabletop as well as other parts of the entryway table. I have decided to use Royal Lac Orange just to add a bit of color to the maple entryway table. I'll be using a soft bristle brush. I always make it a point to wipe the threads of the cap as well as the jar clean. Next, I make sure that the tabletop is absolutely clean and dry. It's always a good idea to prime the brush in denatured alcohol. This helps in easy cleanup. Next, I dip the brush in the jar and lay down an even coat going with the grain. The brush overlap is about quarter of an inch. If I miss a few spots, I simply go over it. I'll be applying three coats of Royal Lac to the tabletop and other parts of the table. I recheck to see if I've missed any spots, and yes, I have. So I simply go over it. I'll also do the sides. The tabletop has been drying for about 15 minutes. I am now ready to apply the second coat of Royal Lac. The application process is exactly the same as what I had done in the first coat. Well, our tabletop has been drying for about 15 minutes. I'll start with the third and final coat of Royal Lac. With three coats of Royal Lac Original on the tabletop, I will let it rest for at least 24 hours. After this, I'll move on to my next step, intermediate sanding. While the tabletop is drying, I'll start application of Royal Lac on these parts of the table. The application process is exactly the same as with the tabletop. I take care to avoid any drips. I will be applying three coats on each side of the legs and four stretchers. The tabletop and other parts of the table 
with three coats of Royal Lac Original have been drying for 24 hours. You may decide to stop here. If the finish does not have any imperfections like brush marks or spot accumulation of finish, you may also choose to apply two coats instead of three. I have decided on three coats for this project because this is an entryway table that is going to be used heavily. At this stage, you can also rub it out with four aught steel wool to get a low luster finish, although that may not be necessary when I introduce Royal Lac Low Luster. It is in development, so stay tuned. I'll take this project one step further. I'll move on to my next step, intermediate sanding. In this step, the surface is sanded very lightly with 600 grit sandpaper and water. Water acts as a lubricant and coolant. Intermediate sanding creates a smooth, flat surface for the final layering of Royal Lac Original. Here is how I do it. First, I spray water all over the surface. Next, I take 600 grit sandpaper and start at one end, moving in circular motion. I move all over the surface, sanding very evenly as best as I can. If I see a spot accumulation of finish, I simply sand it off. I move in circular pattern to leave 600 grit deep scratches randomly all over the surface. I also do the sides. I check to see if I've missed any spots. And I think I need a little more sanding at this edge. And there seems to be some accumulation of finish right here. And also along this edge over here. So I'll wet sand again, concentrating on these spots. Once I'm done sanding, I make sure that the surface is clean and absolutely dry. With the surface lightly sanded with 600 grit sandpaper and completely dry, I will start the final finishing process. In this step, I will build up the finish by applying thin and even coats of Royal Lac. I'll be using a pad for the application. Let me show you how to make the pad. I have a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of t-shirt material that I fold in halves and then in thirds. Next I bring the four corners together to form a ball. I place the ball in the middle of a 6 inch by 6 inch piece of linen and wrap the linen around the ball. I flatten it. and my pad is now ready for use. I also have some Royal Lac Orange in a squeeze bottle. I hold the pad like so and squeeze some Royal Lac onto the pad. Work it in. Squeeze a little more. I wipe the surface again, just to be sure. And I start at one end and start applying with the pad, holding it very gently. My overlap is about quarter of an inch. I recharge the pad. And start again. I 
I do the sides. Check and see if the royal lac has dried. I am now using the fly-in, fly-out technique. You can use it anytime during the final finishing stage. I fly in and I fly out. Fly in, fly out, fly in, fly out. By applying thin coats like this, Royal Lac dries very fast. I check to see if it's dry and I apply another coat. Again, I'm using the fly in, fly out technique. I look at it from a side, from an angle and see that I've got a pretty even layer of Royal Lac all over the surface. I can do with a few more layers. I check to see if it's dry and it's dry to touch. So I'm going to apply this layer and let it rest for about 10 minutes. After this, I'll come back and if necessary, I'll put on another extra layer. I'll be parking my pad in this airtight jar. In this way, I can use it after 10 minutes or I can use it for some future product also. Well, it's been about 15 minutes since I applied the last coat. And what I have is a very smooth, flat, and even layering of Royal Lac. So I'll set it aside to dry. With the tabletop drying, I've started application on the other parts of the table that have also been wet sanded with 600 grit sandpaper. Add a bit of Royal Lac to my pad. and apply coats just as I had done to the tabletop. You can stop here and let the tabletop and the other parts of the table dry for at least 24 hours before assembly. I'm going to take it one step further. I'll apply a few coats of Royal Lac diluted with denatured alcohol. This application will give me a very smooth and high shine finish that I'm looking for. Here's how I do it. First, I take the pad out of the jar. And if you recall, I've only added Royal Lac to the pad so far. Now I'm going to add some denatured alcohol to dilute the Royal Lac in the pad. I have some denatured alcohol in this squeeze bottle. I simply pour a little bit on the pad, work it in, and start the application process. I start at one end and I keep the pad moving and work my, my way in an S pattern. I also do the sides. I touch to see if it's dry, and it is. So I'll add a bit more alcohol, like so, and apply a few more coats. I'm gonna start at this end. My pad is always moving. and I have an overlap of about quarter of an inch. I think I can add another coat. I'll add some alcohol again, start from this end and move up. With final finishing completed on all parts of the table, I will let it rest for at least 24 hours before I start table assembly. I'll see you then.
So here's our entryway table, finished with royal lac. It looks and feels just like shellac, but it's a whole lot more than just ordinary shellac. I hope this video helps you to finish your next project with royal lac. Feel free to email me with questions anytime. But wait, I still need to prove to you that royal lac is as good as any other finish. So I'm going to wait for 25 days for it to cure, and then I'll come back to you with experiments to show its resistance towards heat, water, and alcoholic drinks. I'll see you then.